Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sub list then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. 
and today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access basic business invoicing with accounts receivable database templates. So if you go up just a little bit here and go to our small business area, go ahead and click on the Access basic business invoicing with accounts receivable database. Once you open that web page, scroll down to our download a demonstration section right here and download the demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to go ahead and download this one. Once you've downloaded the file, open the file and you need to extract all the file. So once you've extracted all of that file, then you can go ahead and open the file. You extract the file because it's zipped up when you download it. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or concern. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And as always with our database templates, you also get a pop-up box just stating that this is a demonstration section or a demo, a demonstration of this database template. So if you were to download this demo, none of your data would be stored or saved. You have to purchase the full version to save your data. And it also has all the different ways you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. However, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. So this database template is called the Microsoft Asset Access Basic Invoice with Accounts Receivable. Now, it's obviously very similar to our basic business invoicing. However, it just adds that accounts receivable section. So to go with, forward with the demonstration, we're just going to start off by adding a new customer. So let's say the customer's name, we're just going to use test restaurant. We'll just do test rest. And as you can see, for a customer, you can add in all like their addresses, uh, phone numbers, zipping, any of that stuff, fax, email. We'll, we'll put in just a few things just for the sake of the demonstration. Okay. So within the customer though, you can also have contacts. So if this was a large corporation and they had tons of different contacts and employees, you would just enter in their company name and then under contacts, you could enter in a bunch of different contacts as well as notes about the customer, their invoices about the customer. So if you had invoices, they would all show up here. Payments that they paid, they would show up here as well as reports. So pretty detailed section for the customer. You can add in a lot of information about them. For the sake of the demonstration though, we're just gonna continue on. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this. And so what you can do now is if you want to search for a customer, you can do that. So if you need to find a customer immediately, like, oh, I need to know when this customer paid their last invoice, you could simply just search for them. And as you can see, they have search fields by first name, last name, city, state, zip, customer, etc. You can do any of that stuff. So I think we named them test rest. So if you just search, search searching for test, as you can see, they're the only customer in here. So as soon as I type in T, they do show up. And there's test rest if I want to customize more information about them I can simply double click this record and it's going to open back up that customer information section so I can add in more contacts like I said notes invoices etc all that good stuff you're not for now though go ahead and close out of this and so I'm going to add an invoice so now we can create a new add new invoice so since you've created a customer we can do that um, the invoice number it just automatically put three we'll put in we'll put five why not the customer we need to select is the test rest customer that we did and we'll say the due date is tomorrow. Um, the document type, we're going to keep it as an invoice. You can change that if you want, though. Um, oh, you can even attach a salesman, so whoever the person related to this customer or this invoice. This is just some test salesmen that were put in here. You can obviously put in all your own salesmen. Go ahead and do first name. PO number. Um, we'll put one, two, three. Why not? Okay. So now down to the actual invoice. So you can change the type that the invoice is. You know, you get all these good choices. Uh, we'll put restaurant utility since our test one was test rest. Okay. And you can even change the unit price of this uh, invoice. There we go. We'll put the discount at 5%. Why not? And you can even put in here what, what kind of type it was. So uh, we'll say it was an, a notes receivable. And as soon as you click out of that box, let's say I click down here, it automatically calculates your subtotal, what taxes you'd pay, uh, the total that you all, the total that you're going to pay. Now you can even customize this tax section. So if you wanted to add in international tax, country tax, state tax, all that good stuff, you can do that. We will not for now, since this is just a demonstration. So we're gonna go ahead and save and close that for now. And as soon as you save and close that, the customer tab does pop back up, and it goes to test rest. That is the invoice that we made close that for now and now we can search for that invoice so if you wanted to search for the invoice that you just made or any other invoice if you needed to find it you just type in test rest and it's going to show up or you can even type in the date or the PO number but it's going to 
show all the invoices that have to do with the name test. And so now there's an invoice that we had just made. We made it today and it's due tomorrow. You can even double click it if you want to open back up the invoice and you want to maybe add some things. You want to change some of the information behind it. You can do all that again, which we will not since this is just a demo. So go ahead and close out of this. Close out of the customer. Close out of the invoice search. And the other thing you can do with this database template is now you can add payments. So if they had paid that invoice, you can now do that. So if you want to keep track of all your payments, you got customer test rest, payment method, you can say check, credit card, PayPal, any of that good stuff. You can say the date it was, let's say, let's say it's February 10th, 2019. Um, the amount, I think that we did a dollar fifty, so we'll just say a dollar fifty. You can even see say where it's coming from. Oh, it's bank charges, oh, or it's a checking account. Oh, it's a trade from accounts receivable. You can do all that good stuff. So now you need to apply it to the specific invoice that this is for, and it is that one we just made, the dollar fifty right there. Invoice number five. Oh, we probably should put in the reference check number since we don't have one. We'll just do one, two, three. Okay. So now we. So now, if you put that that initial invoice was a dollar fifty, and that is what we're playing, uh, paying. Click out of that. There we go. Total applied was a dollar fifty, and that's how much we're paying. So if you apply and close. Boom, that invoice should now be paid for. And so now if you want to go back to searching for that payment, so, oh, I need to remember who paid on this day or what customers have paid in the past week, you know, you can do that. So we search for that customer again, test, and you can see that they paid $1.50 on February 10th. And you can even double click it if you want to open up that payment. So it's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this for now, close out of the search. And like I said, you know, now that customer, whoops. Search for that. Whoops, type that in wrong. A test rest customer. Now it's going to have invoices attached to it right here. You see that invoice, and it's going to have a payment attached to it. So it's pretty cool. Th this database template is very powerful, and it can do a lot. Like I said, Winning Solutions can also customize this database template. If you know, maybe you see a few things you like, but there's a few changes you'd like to make. Contact Winning Solutions Inc. whenever you'd like, and we can. Uh, further develop this database template to meet your exact needs. So I'm going to go ahead and thank you for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those. We post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.